We have been a customer of Benninghoven for many, many years and have also done a retrofit. We have had the specific question of whether they have a wood dust burner in their portfolio. We were then soon convinced that wood dust or wood could be the right path to a practical solution, a business case that will pay off relatively quickly. As it has now also become economically viable for us to work with wood dust, we believe that we have made a very good decision for the future, for us and for our site. We are now comparing heating oil with our wood dust. Economically, the raw materials are at around 70% of the cost that we had with heating oil. For electricity costs, of which we have more, it is around 80%. So, we are actually saving about 20% cost by changing to wood dust. We buy dried wood chips for our mixing plant. These are a little coarser than what you would normally get on the market, and they are turned into fine wood dust in our wood processing plant. We then store the wood dust in a wood dust silo, and from there, it goes to the burner chamber. We were always in a very close exchange with Benninghoven from the start. There was always someone on site while everything was being installed, and especially during commissioning. The installation, product development, and enhancements then produce good values relatively quickly. We are now roughly at the point where our emission values are at half of what the limits of the TA Luft regulation stipulate. And it was actually quite surprising and positive for everyone involved that we could meet these values so well in this short period of time. Emissions measurements by the TUF inspection organization have provided similar results. We compared the values from our continuous emissions measurement and they were clearly below the limits as well. The whole thing is set up as a research and development project. That means we will be trying to reduce the pilot flame even further over the next two years, and we will also stay in touch with Benninghoven otherwise to just drive the whole development. We have had a grand opening when our mixing plant was up and running, and we tried to advertise and raise awareness for this opportunity that has now opened up here at our site. So the decision is now, where do I buy my asphalt? Do I decide to emit a lot of CO2 in the future, as is the case with these other asphalt mixing plants, or almost zero with us?